Nine countries, including the U.S., temporarily cut funding to the U.N. Relief and Works Agency that provides aid to Palestinians over some employees' alleged ties to Hamas's October 7th terror attack. Now new information obtained from an Israeli intelligence dossier alleges those ties run much deeper. The Secretary General is horrified by this news and asked Mr. Lazzarini to investigate this matter swiftly and to ensure that any UNRWA employee shown to have participated or abetted in what transpired on October 7th or in any other criminal activity be terminated immediately and referred for potential criminal prosecution. According to reports, an Israeli intelligence dossier provided to U.S. government officials alleges that 190 employees of the UNRWA doubled as Hamas or Islamic Jihad militants. No evidence has been provided to back the allegation, reports the Associated Press. According to information released from the dossier, one of the employees, a school counselor, allegedly helped in the abduction of an Israeli woman during the October 7th attack. A social worker was said to have helped Hamas with weapon supplies, along with coordinating transportation for the attackers. Two more are accused of participating in the rampages, one at the attack on the Israeli border village where a tenth of residents were killed, and the other accused of taking part in the attack on Reim, where more than 360 people were killed at a rave. An Israeli official tells Reuters the 190 UNRWA employees listed in the dossier are killers, adding that 10 percent of UNRWA's 13,000 member workforce may be affiliated with Hamas or jihad militant groups. The allegation sparking concern about how deep ties to Hamas run within the U.N. aid organization. On Friday, before the dossier had been released in the media, National Security Council spokesman John Kirby addressed those concerns. But up until today, the U.S. policy then has been we don't negotiate with terrorists, but we will give them hundreds of millions of dollars. Come on now, that's that's conflating here. This is not you're, you're, that's like saying the whole UNRWA is a terrorist organization. You know who is a terrorist organization? Hamas, not UNRWA. Now, if they have if the investigation proves that in this case, I think it's about a dozen employees were assisting Hamas and even to the point of maybe even, you know, involved in hostage taking, then absolutely they need to be held to account. Palestinian officials are accusing Israel of falsifying the information in an effort to hurt UNRWA. The Palestinian prime minister calling it a political attack on the aid agency. Meanwhile, calling the temporary suspension of funding shocking, UNRWA's commissioner general is urging the U.S. and other countries to reverse its pause in funding. UNRWA is the primary humanitarian agency in Gaza, with over two million people depending on it for their sheer survival. Many are hungry as the clock is ticking towards a looming famine. The commissioner general adding the UN's internal oversight services has begun its own investigation into this matter. UNRWA director of communications has warned that without funding, the agency would have to stop providing aid to Gaza by the end of February.